guys, I'm trying. Welcome and happy Wednesday, all Today is November 30th, and let's get started with this episode of our daily video announcements. I am Mrs. Shunk. And hi, I'm Noah. Now, let's all please stand and place our hand over our heart and join Mr. Foldy's Flex Group one last time to be thankful and honor our amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Thank you all, and please be seated. Yes. Wait, did you say one last time? Yes. What do you mean? We have a new class leading us in December. Oh, I get it. Hey, great job to those choosing to do a wonderful job of being respectful, responsible, safe, and problem solving. Hey, I've noticed people are staying to the right in the hallways, keeping their hands, feet, and body to themselves. Did you know that other classes are going on while some of us are in the hallways. That means that we should all talk quietly and respectful and keep up the great teamwork, everyone. Yes, humans. Be your best in the hallways and do your young adult responsibilities. Check your emails, organize your calendars, study and do your best on schoolwork. One last reminder, no video announcements tomorrow or Friday. That's no video announcements on Thursday or Friday. Sorry we'll miss you. And no, you will be in good hands with our wonderful Mr. Harris, who will read them over our PA system. Friday, December 2nd is also our second quarter interim report time. Oh my gosh, it's interim report time already? Please be responsible and keep up your grades. Okay, have you lost something? Anything? Coat, hat, lunchbox, water bottle? We had a special message from Mrs. Namak yesterday on items lost in our newly organized lost and found. If you are missing something, go check the tables for water bottles, floor, for lunch boxes, or rack for clothing items. Soon it'll all be gone for good. We should probably donate it. <laughs> and make sure you have your first class tickets ready when you arrive at school, like on school, on Friday, December 2nd, to get your participation stamps from the PBIS pop-up shops. One in the cafeteria, one near the office, one in the gym where we can turn 10 PBIS tickets to wear a hat for the day. Participation stamps can only be purchased in the morning when you arrive from one of the pop-up shops for you to be able to participate for the day. Teachers will be checking this for the stamps of those participating. Have fun. You earned it. That's right. Earning first class ticket earns you awesome opportunities and awards. Keep doing great things. Figure out which hat you want to wear Friday for your 10 tickets. Another reminder for our creative writers, the deadline for the Montgomery Women's Club Creative Writing Contest is approaching in two weeks on December 14th. Get ready for our school winter dance on Friday, December 16th from 6 to 7.30. Let's hear more information from Sam. Attention everyone, we have a special update. Ticket sales will start Monday and Tuesday for $5. Each student will receive one ticket, a max of one ticket. There are only 250 tickets. Monday and Tuesday will go on sale for 8th graders, and 7th graders will be able to buy Wednesday and Thursday. There will be a DJ, concessions, and informal dress, like you are coming to school. We can't wait to see you there. See you guys later. Thanks, Sam. Next up. National Day! Woo! Today is National Mason Jar Day! Huh? I drank out of a Mason Jar last night. Well, mason jars are helpful. Sometimes I use them to drink water, or they also hold my toothbrush. Yes, Chon Landis created the mason jar on this day in, 19, in 1858. Nice! Now, we have... Birthdays! birthdays! Happy birthday to Emma S., Maxwell B., who are celebrating today. Enjoy your fantastic day! And happy birthday to Bryson H., Evan H., Lucas R., Ainsley P., Evangeline R., Catherine W., Finley S. Dasho, and Isabella G. all celebrating tomorrow. Haley B. celebrating on Friday as well as Maria S., Sedant P., Beckham H., Henry B. celebrating Saturday. And happy birthday to Brianna L. and Leah G. celebrating this Sunday. 
Enjoy celebrating your special day. Happy birthday. Next up is Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. First of all, nice to see everybody wearing blue, blue for diabetes awareness. So it's nice to see everybody out there supporting that effort today. International Club, you will meet on Friday this week, and your focus country is Korea. Running Club will begin on January 10th, excuse me, but we will have an informational meeting on December 20th for about 30 minutes after school in the Media Center if you're interested in Running Club. If you have any questions, contact Mrs. Beatty if you are interested. And reminder, we will not be having video announcements uh, tomorrow or Friday, all right? So no video announcements on Thursday or Friday. So any important updates we have to make or any uh, last-minute announcements, we will be making those on the PA system. So that's it for me. You guys have a great day. And I guess since I won't see you on video announcements, have a great rest of the week. We'll see you on Monday. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Now over to our awesome Dean of Students, Mr. Stern. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation, and welcome to another installment of Stern's Mailbox. The question today is, are there different types of detentions? And the answer is, yes, we have four types of detentions. That's not including um, in-school suspension and out-of-school suspension. We have lunch DT that takes place during your lunch time. At this point, we've had 78 lunch DTs. We have after school DT that takes place from 3.15 until 5 o'clock. We have had 30 after school DTs at this point. Friday schools, that takes place from 3.15 until 5.45. And at this point in the year, it's 5.45, you're going home when it's dark. We've had two Friday schools at this point. And lastly, we have Saturday school. You get to come here Saturday morning from 8 until 11. And at this point, we have had two Saturday schools. And another question I get is, does everybody get the same discipline? And the answer is, is really no. First of all, it depends on what the uh, act is. There are certain acts that you do that automatically you get this. Uh, if you throw rocks at recess, you're automatically getting an after-school detention. Um, it is a safety issue um, for that. However, when we look at a referral, the first thing we do is we go and check, do you have any other referrals? And do you have other referrals for the t same type of discipline? doesn't matter if it was a different teacher. If it's the same type, we start working you up the ladder, which means if we've already given you a warning, the next step will typically be a lunch DT. If we've already given you a lunch DT, typically we would go with the after school detention. So we just kind of keep working you up the ladder. So yeah, you and a buddy might have the same referral. However, you already have three referrals, then you've already started working yourself up the ladder. So in some of those cases, you will not have the same discipline. Hey, keep those questions coming. They've been great. Hey. You can't always uh, affect the consequences, but you can always change your behavior. Thanks, Mr. Stern. And now for our joke of the day. What genre are national anthems? I don't know. What? Country. <laughs> Be grateful for our amazing opportunities, Sycamore. Work hard towards that job that you want when you graduate. Smile and be kind, everyone. Do your best to be great, Sycamore, and... Go Waves! This is Would You Rather Wednesday, and I'm here with... Mrs. Reinhardt. Okay, I have some questions for you. Would you rather live without no air conditioning or no heating? No air conditioning. Why? Because I have enough fans in the house, but I do not have other ways to heat the house. Okay. Right, that is a great answer. Okay. Would you rather... Nah, this is a good one. Would you rather live without a microwave or a toaster? Without a toaster. Why? Because anything in the toaster could be cooked on the stove. But microwave directions are really specific. You need a microwave for those. See, Ms. Reinhardt is very smart here. All right? Thank you. Thank you. I have some questions for you. Would you rather carry around a flip phone or only use a desktop computer? Desktop computer. Why? Um, because I'm not sure you're going to feel fine. Okay. Would you rather never use your favorite mobile app again or spend a month without no people at all? Mobile app. Why? Because I need people in my life. That is a great answer. That's, I feel good. Yeah. Okay, bye.